Welcome back to the reality of entertainment. I'm your host, Brandon Lance Garnsey. Happy Friday and happy Harry Styles Day. Fans and me have been waiting since May of 2017 for new music from Harry Styles. And last night, the artist surprised everyone by dropping his single, Lights Up. And it has a music video. The visuals are steamy and the song is definitely a pop rock anthem. The video already has almost 5 million views on YouTube since its release. The former One Direction star heads into the era of his second album, dropping billboards all around the world that read, Do you know who you are? But Harry isn't the only thing trending right now. Not only was former President George W. Bush right here on Chapman's campus, but he was also at a Cowboys game with Ellen DeGeneres this weekend, and people have mixed feelings. But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Celebrities like Mark Ruffalo disagree with Ellen, tweeting how Bush should be brought to justice for his war crimes before we even begin to address kindness. However, others are expressing their admiration for Ellen's kindness, along with Whoopi Goldberg, who defended the daytime host on The View. And you know what? I agree. Meanwhile, nobody's mad over this announcement made on The Ellen Show this week. I am so excited about this. I will be joining as one of the new coaches and boys. <laughs> Nick Jonas will be joining Kelly Clarkson, John Legend, and Blake Shelton as a coach for season 18 of The Voice, replacing Adam Levine, who left the show. Rihanna revealed some new details about two upcoming albums in an interview with Vogue this week, and also stated how she turned down performing at the Super Bowl halftime show. The singer sides with Colin Kaepernick and says, quote, there's things within that organization that I do not agree with at all, and I was not about to go off and be of service to them in any way. And that she couldn't dare do that. She couldn't be a sellout. Don't worry, Rihanna. I'm sure you'll sell out of inventory of your upcoming autobiography. Releasing on October 24th, the book contains over 1,000 photos of Riri. YouTuber Trisha Paytas is known for her talent with sparking controversy, and she did just that this week. Paytas uploads a video to her channel where she came out as a gay transgender man, and a lot of people in the LGBTQ community think it's a step back from recent progress. So, in my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male, but also, like, a drag queen. That's how I, that's kind of how I've, like, r rationalized it in my head. I just want it to be a more normalized thing that you can be any gender you choose on any given day. Some influencers have expressed support and others concern for the YouTuber. Many fans are offended by Paytas using a side-by-side -side photo of herself dressed up as Troy Bolton from a previous video. Trisha says she doesn't apologize for coming out, but for how she explained it. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street and where to find tissues along the way? Because the children's show is now tackling the topic of addiction with their newest Muppet, Carly. We learn in a new episode the furry green character's mother suffers from an opioid addiction and has to go to meetings to help her get better. Yes. Carly's mommy has a disease called addiction. Addiction makes people feel like they need a grown-up drink called alcohol or another kind of drug to feel okay. But why doesn't she just stop? Oh, it's, it's not something you can just stop doing, not without help from the right grown-ups. Okay, who else got the chills? Sesame Street has also tackled topics such as homelessness, adoption, and autism. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to go home and binge Sesame Street. Thanks for catching up with the reality and entertainment. I'm Brandon Lance Garnsey. Back to you guys at the desk.